Hello and welcome to Nada Gamer Gaming. This is Genosoth with episode 10 of The Infected. Before we begin, before we jump into our game, uh, there has been an update. We're running at version 9.3 now. Now, this is a um, what we guess what they would refer to as a mini update. There's been some settings added. Uh, notably, the month length can be changed from a default 60 minutes up to 300 minutes. So you can you can play the long game if you want. I mean, if Winter's not lasting long enough for you. You want to get more used to the uh, the dangers and the gameplay changes, then you can extend how long that takes. You can also choose to have an only summer or an only winter playthrough. Now that seems interesting. Only having you know, winter. Uh, you know, you can't rely on fish at all. You have to have a greenhouse. Uh, you're not going to be able to find vegetables until, unless you find them in the wild. So that's that's something that would be interesting. Also, and we'll find this more in game, that there's been a change to the Vambies. I keep saying Zambies, but I'm going to try saying Vambie this time. That they can teleport. They can watch you from afar. So there's been some AI changes. So we may see some of that as we play. All right, let's get on to the game. All right, we're, we're back at it. So let's go over some, some of the changes that we had in the last episode. We finished our second floor. So we have a much more house-like looking house, which is nice. I like it. A lot of times, ooh, it's late in the evening. So we're going to do a little bit of shuffling around. Let's turn my light on and make it easier to see. Now that I have a bedroom, let's go ahead and set that up. So let's grab my bed and uh, rotate this around. I guess kind of like a, I don't know what would be better, best. Uh, maybe by the window. Yeah, maybe by the window. Get some fresh breeze. It's right about there. I got to hit E. There we go. Yeah, it looks all right. Um, what else do we want? Okay, we put this night light, or whatever this is, up by the bed. Over here. Okay. Um, can we make a table? Is there some sort of table I can make? Um, placeables, furniture, a table. Is there an end table? Couch, wooden cabinet, table. I guess table might be the uh, closest thing. That's kind of big. I thought, sure, I thought sure I saw an end table. Um... Furniture. Coffee table. I guess that might work. Let me, uh, what does it take to build? It takes eight planks and ten nails. You know, screw it. Let's, uh, oh. Huh. I'm definitely not getting that. Oh, it says bird in the distance. All right, well, I guess I'll just drop those in there for now. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's all we're going to move upstairs. I want this rack to stay here. So we did free up a little corner here. Maybe put the loom over here a little less less in the way so yeah the room breathes a little more so um uh, yeah i guess that's all we can do for now it's gonna get late so i can do a little bit of grinding while it's getting dark so tomorrow i'd like to take a look at this uh, village up here now when the game updated at 9.0 and all of the villages reset we went here immediately and then in the episode a couple episodes ago for two or three episodes ago we went down here so I do believe that I have not gone up here since the update, so we may find two new schematics. And we also have our backpack, which is awesome. That is gonna help looting quite a bit. Is there anything in here? No? Okay. All right, well, um, without further ado, I guess I'm just gonna spend a little bit of the remaining evening, do some uh, resource gathering, and uh, get ready for the next day. Uh oh, I guess it's Horde Night. Uh, so we got five Vambies on the way. So last time was four, the time before that was three, so um, if we could all count, uh, it's going to get nasty. Ooh, that fence is about broken. Um, I need some planks immediately, because uh, we could have a breach very soon if we don't cha do something about that. Um, gosh, uh, what am I going to throw on the ground? Um, <laughs> I don't want to throw anything on the ground. Crap. Okay, maybe the bow. Get the bow on the ground. Uh, pick up the hammer. Hammer, 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 hammer. Okay, let's get to fix that immediately, in case before someone breaks that. There we go. Oh gosh, here they come. <laughs> so this, uh, I wonder what, I wonder if the AI changes will affect, oh god. Uh, spear. That's an axe. Ah, got that guy. Whoa, you got him. Can I get you? Can I get you? Well, specs are getting you. There you are. No, you don't. Good thing I fixed that. Hey, come back here. That's right. <laughs> oh, you jerk. Oh. Oh, God. You got a breach. No, you don't. Like that. Oh, God. Oh. 
Where'd you go? Come back here. Oh, there goes my spear. <laughs> uh, no, we don't. That's a hammer. That's not gonna help me. Oh, God. Woo! That was probably the more interesting uh, night I've had. Holy crap. Oh, okay, wow. So, uh, oh God, of course, hold on. Oh, I don't wanna throw my spear like that. I'm gonna lose it. Hey, fella. Yeah, I know, I know. That. Oh, God. Okay, well, that was something. Um, I really should have checked... Oh, I really should have checked the stability of my fences before I uh, retired for the night, but, eh. You know, in retrospect. Uh, we're not dead. Oh, God, it's G. Oh, God, we're almost dead. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, that sounds like a tomorrow problem. Uh, well, how's my food and stuff? I'm fine. I'm gonna sleep away the terrors, and uh, hopefully there's no more zombies until the morning. Or, sorry, vambies. And uh, I'll fix up the fence first thing. All right, it's the morning. I did uh, recover a fair bit of my health, but uh, probably not as much as I should. Um, oh, that's the bow I dropped earlier. Let me put the hammer back down. Yeah, I'm, I'll fix up. I'll you fix up things later. I just want to get a good start on the day. Let's pick up my bow. There we go. Ooh, that's almost broken. Huh. Um. Well, let me toss that back on the ground. Is this the other one not broken? How about that one? That's almost broken, too. Well, that's a shame. All right, well, let's destroy that one. And we may as well just toss this one. I mean, this is almost broken. I don't want to be out in the field and have to worry about that breaking on me. No, not that. There we go. Oh, Back on the ground. And then right-click, destroy. Yes. All right, so for a new bow, we just need, like, one stick and some rope. Uh, one, two, three. On to the workbench. And there we go. There, nice shiny new bow. All right, so I need to take care of my, my vitals. I'm super thirsty. I'm probably a little hungry. And then we're going to get prepared to head out to that, new, that other village we haven't been to. All right, I'm almost prepared to go. My stats are looking a little better. But what I'd like to do is uh, get some um, canned goods prepared. So when I'm out in the field, I'll have something to rely on for food. All right, so we get all those vegetables in there, make some veggie salad, and get some more veggie salad. There we go. Ooh, wow, it's raining. Oh, that's nasty. Um, let's get that melon on the ground, split that, and make some fruit salad. There. Get some preserves ready for later. So I'll uh, toss a couple of these cans. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> wow. That is super duper loud. Um, actually, I think my game sounds probably got defaulted. Yeah, they did. Let's set them to about 40. Because um, after I reformatted my, com reformatted my computer, I do believe I uh, my game settings got reset a little bit. Not a big deal. All right, so I'm going to boil up some water. I've got my... my uh, Rations prepared, and then we'll be all set. Um, can that, is there coal in there? Yeah, there is. Okay, well that's boiling. Let's take a quick, quickie look at our fence situation. So we lost our corner. So we can probably easily fix that. Go under our fences, we get a snap there, and a snap there. Very simple, so that just takes, uh, ooh, six logs and four rope. Uh, actually, I might have the logs. That'd be convenient. And I need uh, eight rope in total to get that fixed up. All right, let's go check our stock. Yeah. Um, fibers. Eight rope. So about yay much. And let's drop that plank over here. Grab another fresh logs. And I should be able to finish this one up. Perfect. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now, yeah, before the next um, horde night, so we got a few days before that, we'll make sure that we have all of the fences tidied up. Now, ideally, I'll get into getting power, and I'll be able to make a cement mixer and make these all concrete, and they'll make me worry a lot less. All right, so our water should be ready. Let's go ahead and scoop that up in our brand new container here. Okay, so our backpack's looking great. Look at all this space, all this room for activities. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to bring my cart, and I'm also going to bring my looting crates, like so. And uh, we'll have to stop at the... Uh, the crate's a lot less now that we have this large, large cart. All right. Now, I'm tempted to move the greenhouse so I can actually take advantage of this rain throughout the uh, the season. 
But I don't know. I already placed these really nicely. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to think about it. Um, check these before we go. All right. Actually, you know what? Before we go out and do that big grand adventure, I want to do a quick run down here and check our extractors. Because uh, we set those up a several days ago, and they're probably out of fuel. So I want them working for us as much as possible. So a little detour. It's still really early in the morning, so we should be able to get this done and back enough time for our little, uh, you know, Vambi uh, um, vi village adventure. All right, we're arriving at the aluminum site. Uh, I suspect this is out of fuel, because it's been a while since we've been here. Yeah, I don't hear the uh, running, but ooh, ho, ho, look at all that aluminum. That is awesome. Kind of wish I had a take all button, so we'll have to suffice with that. So I did bring enough fuel to uh, fuel it entirely. So let's go ahead and drop it in there. So that's, yeah, that's a full, that's a full load now. So that's going to last probably a couple days. I, I really forget what the uh, ratio is. So we may as well drop all of this back off. Oh, you know what? I can, I can carry this in my bag now. I'm actually, I can carry that entire load and I'm not encumbered. I love this new bag. All right, so that's working for us. We got a ton of aluminum. So we're going to be able to make all kinds of things with that. All right, so let's uh, drop back off at home because it's kind of on the way. And then, let, yeah, then we head out to our adventure. Oh, we forgot to clean some of our mess last night. My bad. Uh, it was a couple of iron on them. That's not bad. Okay, so we got our whole load of aluminum on us. So let's uh, take a quick second and offload that into the forges here. Oh, it's dark in here. Let me turn on my helmet light. Okay, it looks like there's a full load of iron ingots or fragments here. But let's do a full load of aluminum because that's going to be super nice. All right. Uh, that's a little low on coal. We have a lot of that now. Let's see here. All right, so we got some more aluminum to load in. Fantastic. And may as well just get in these fragments here, too. Uh, yeah, I think that should do a couple rocks. All right, so let's load all of that coal in here. Now, this coal will last us a while. Uh, keeping those extractors running is, uh, is definitely going to help keep our stock up. Ooh, we're really good on copper. That's, that's great. Drop the rocks in here. Oh, and cobalt. And I guess we don't need the rest of... Actually, you know what? Let's split up the uh, biofuel amongst these here. Uh, split one more. And then a couple in here. There. Those, those will run for a while yet. So I think we're in good shape. Let's drop off those little iron pieces. Yeah, drop them off in here. Oh, actually, I had a spare copper. There, that's two full shelves. I really need to use those up. Okay, now we're done. Now we can get on the road, head off to that village. I I think we might have been there before, but just before the reset. So it's got a fresh loot. It's got fresh schematics or blueprints, whatever you want to call them. So let's head off in that direction and see what it has in store for us. You know what? I think this is the first village I was in. Very, like, uh, gosh, I think maybe three or four episodes in. Wow, this, that place looks bleak. I, I hope they update the graphics and all that, because they just look like a bunch of black houses. And that seems odd to me. All right, so before we get in there, let's go take a look at our stats. We need some thirst carbs and vitamins. Like, let's have a quick uh, fruit salad break. Yummy, yummy. I can't say it without thinking that. God damn it. All right, so our stats are pretty good. Our proteins are a little low. But uh, if we need to eat a beef stew, we'll eat a beef stew. Okay. Oh, there's a log in there. <laughs> Oops. All right, that's fine. In case I need some firewood, I guess I have that handy. All right, so there's a big town up ahead of me, and we've been through this town before. So you'll forgive me if I don't um, give you an elaborate tour of every single house. But we are going to do the uh, same trick that we picked up from uh, Mr. KJ48. Uh, with our little style that we're doing it differently, we're going to put a, a fence. Now, I like the fence because I find it's more visible than uh, the foundations he used. So, that's my little trick anyway. Um, 
Let's get rid of that. There we go. Ooh, clay. Don't mind if I do. All right, so I got my helmet light on. And uh, let's search this house, see if there's anything worth grabbing. Oh, we have someone screaming outside. Oh, yeah, coming right in. Oh, oh what'd you do? What are you doing? Oh, is that that? Oh, God. Ow. That's just not fair. Come back here. Bit me through the door. Jeez. I guess Vambies, uh can phase through. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Whoa! Oh, that's creepy. Wow. Uh, okay, so we guess I saw firsthand that AI change they had. They can poof like the Nightcrawler and back up and heal themselves. So, well, uh, <laughs> we're going to have to watch out for that. All right, not much to speak of in that house, so we'll keep going. Our uh, storage is only 20 out of 75, which is great because I'm really getting used to having this new uh, alligator skin backpack. But it's uh, really helped our looting capabilities. We can take a lot less... Uh, breaks to drop things off also great for uh gathering rocks and whatnot because you don't have to stop or get slowed down too much so very very handy it's making loot runs much more enjoyable all right let's get into the next house and see if there's anything in here all right another house down uh yeah we're just getting odds and ends you know copper ore some glass rope you know seeds bone shards you know that type of thing very standard stuff um another house nearby so far, the only Vambi I've seen is one that surprised us and poofed on us in the house. All right, stop right here. I guess we should check these little tables sometimes. I think sometimes there's things just laying about. Eh, not here, though. All right, uh, same trick. Use this. Now, this, uh, this trick could also work in reverse. What I was thinking is that if we do a return trip to a place, that is, uh, 10 days later, um, some places are going to respawn. Now, when that happens, we could do this in reverse. Yeah, I see a Vambi over there. Uh, we do this in the reverse, that we go to a place that has this, and as we loot it, we remove it. And so not having a, uh, uh, what do you call it, or having this will, get, will tell us what hasn't been looted. So we can kind of toggle that back and forth, and that'll help us uh, figure out where we've been and where we haven't, because everything just looks the same. Again, I hope they uh, update the um, update the towns to make them a little more vibrant and, and interesting. All right, let's pick through this place. All right, not too much of note. Again, just little odds and ends, a little bit of resources, some plastic, which I really like. Uh, let's go ahead and drop some of this off, like just so we don't uh, you know, slow ourselves down later if we're, we get surprised. Now, something I'm gonna have to remember that I do have med kits on me. So if I get surprised and I get really injured, this will heal me pretty much completely. I mean, if I get my stats over 100, It'll only heal me up, you know, 100 worth of health, but it's still a massive amount. And I have quite a supply of them back at home. All right, where's the door on this one? Here we go. So this is one of those small ones with one door. Uh, here we go. Drop that in front and head on in. Very, very little in here. Nothing too much to talk about. I love electrical parts, though. Those are one of the hardest things I find to make because you need plastic, you need copper, you need cobalt. That's a lot of things um, that you have to get together. Now, plastic is basically the, the actual problem um, because you actually have to have oil from the oil extractor in order to craft plastic. Now, I found a fair bit, and I've been lucky that, that I did find that much. Oh, I know, I'm going to have to tangle with this guy. See if I can surprise him. Without losing an arrow. Nice! All right, let's go collect our arrow and whatever he has on him. Right in the back of the brain. Perfect shot. Okay, so let's go back to this other house I started and uh, pick through this. All right, all done here and marked that we've looted it. Uh, wait's still uh, 26, so not a big deal. All right, so uh, let's go over on this side since I was already over here. Ooh, watermelon. How's my stats? You know what? I could use a little bit. Let's uh, top off. There we go. What? What's spoiled? Oh, was, did, my, did my preserve spoil? Uh, no, I had something else there. Huh, I honestly don't remember. Uh, I'm sure some of you remember out there, but I don't think it was that big of a deal. All right, um, let's see, because yeah, cause I ate my fruit salad and my veggie salad before I came in here. So I'm honestly not sure. Maybe some raw meat. Uh oh. Okay, let's uh, tangle so I can get out of my menu. Face! Oh, you actually stabbed me, a prick. All right. Uh, got some biofuel. Oh, hold on. Wow, you threw... Damn knife throwing. That's another new thing they do. 
Uh, ooh, got some iron. Um, let is, let's need a bandage here. Medical? No, no. Regular bandage. All right, so we're... Ooh, we're down on health, but we're going to try to hold off on that med kit, because we only got a few of them. Wow, this place is vacant. Holy crap. Um, geez. If I ever moved from a place and made it look like this, I would definitely get my deposit back. Hey, there's some biofuel in the ground. Okay, well, that was easy enough. Let's uh, find another place we can loot. All right, another house. Uh, another a bunch of uh, relatively useful items. Ah, oh, there's that crawler over in the distance. Maybe you should pick a fight. If I can see, get a clear shot. Yeah, that did it. Come on, come on, come on, visit. Nice. All right, one to get him close, and the other to finish him. Uh, oh, some more iron. Not bad. So did we go over there? I don't think so. All right, let's get over in this direction. Uh, yep, yeah, no, I didn't do this one. Yeah, it's it's easy to get turned around here. Everything's kind of just, just looks the same. All right, so let's get our usual marker down. One here. I may as well get the other one done right here since it's already on my cursor. There. I may as well just uh, go in from this side. Oh, I see a blueprint already. What do we got? Wind turbine. Oh, that's a great one. That is a great one. That's great because that allows us to have um, power. So we have a wind turbine. Now, the other bit of power would be the solar panel that would power the solar batteries we already have. But the wind turbine provides us power, whether it's, you know, day or night. But not a lot. The uh, solar panels do provide more power, but just more during the day. So it there's gives and takes. Uh, I like doing kind of a different mix of them. Like, I like having enough, enough turbines to power things you need to run all the time. But during the day when you're working, that's where you have the extra solar power to, uh, to take advantage of that. So, for example, let's say you only run your cement mixer during the day. You don't need that power during the night. So you just need to have just enough power to uh, get through the night without those uh, mixers running. So it's just a little bit of a balance. So you don't waste all of your resources making like 20 or 30 wind turbines and not touching solar at all. It's just uh, solar is a little cheaper and a little more convenient, uh, depending on your situation. Okay, so that's it. So um, that's going to be cool. That's going to be something we're probably going to look at perhaps tomorrow. So I have a feeling that I won't have time to get that started. What? I had that in my hands. To get that started today. Um, yeah, we'll wait on the eating that uh, that watermelon. To be a little, to be a little thirstier. Okay, that's done. We got one blueprint. One more to go. Okay, we're just getting a little up there. So let's go ahead and do some dumping in here. Uh, we're getting a little full. So it looks like anything that's going in here is just going to be stacking. Let's try to stack as much as we can. Now it looks like we're about full on that one. All right, I can work with that. Get all of this in here. Better in here than on my person. They're all clear. All right, so my inventory is completely clear, and the looting crates still have some room for stacking, so we're still in pretty good shape. All right, let's do some looting. All right, all clear. We got some good resources in that one. Some Kevlar and some parts, plastic. Good and rare stuff. You know, the audio on the, on the, uh, the Thunder is really good. Like, it's really high quality. It's really immersive. So I do appreciate a good high quality uh, audio on weather effects. It's really immersing me into the uh, the crappy weather I'm enduring right now. All right, another house down, another to go. Uh-oh. Okay, we're on the second floor and someone's not happy with us. Let's just finish looting. I don't think they're going to work their way up here that quickly. But right, let's make sure not to turn our back on the staircase. They're probably just going to you know, hover and wait for us. Oh, or come in. Oh! Um. <laughs> nice! <laughs> that was actually a really good shot. Um, oh wait, okay, we got both arrows back and we got our spear back. So, call that a win. Sometimes when they fall backwards, you can lose uh, some things sticking out of their bodies into the terrain. So thankfully not this time. Oh. Hey, sir. Oh, that's that whole wait and see thing to do. Uh oh Jesus Christ. Stab, stab, stab. Where's my stabby? Where's my stabby? Okay, let's use our med kit. Ooh, go nice. So that cured all of our ailments and re topped off our health. Okay, that was a good use of it. Uh, we were in trouble. 
So where did that body go? Here we go. Okay, that didn't really land in his head, but I'll take the kill. Alright, so another house down. Let's get the uh, marker down. Tab. Keep forgetting the tab cancels that. Uh, anything here? No. Oh gosh. Come at me, bro. I said at me. What are you doing? Is that interesting? It's better than just running at you. They're kind of like, hmm. You know, what's he going to do next? Oh, arrow in the face. That's a good choice. Okay. Um, I think we're getting turned around here, but... Yeah, I think this is the direction to go. I think this might be the end of the town, and there might be some buildings off on the outskirts. Yeah, right over here. So I think this might be the last couple houses in the uh, on the, the village side. Oh, we got our blueprint. Water house. That's a good one. All right, so what we need to do is I think the wind turbine does 40 power. Let me double check. Um, placeables, power, wind turbine. Okay, it's only 20 power. The uh, solar panels give twice as much for eh, arguably less material. So that's why solar power is beneficial in some ways. Less resources, more power, but only works at, during the day. So if we have a water house, and that's under other, other, here we go, requires 100 power. So I'd need five turbines running in order to operate the water house. But that would power our greenhouse, which means we would not have to water it. And that would really save a lot of trouble. So that may be one of our kind of stretch goals, to get all the materials we need in order to get the water house and all other related turbines operational. So that may require us to get a lot more cobalt, which is used for a lot of electronics. Like I think you need, hold on, let me double check this here. The uh, water house needs uh, 10 aluminum, eight electrical parts. Electrical parts need cobalt and copper and plastic. So we could need some of that. And for power, turbines need, oh, actually iron, aluminum, lead, okay, and cobalt. So yes, cobalt is needed for pretty much most electronics or all electronics. So something to consider. We'll have to get an extra turbine operational and uh, start getting a good stream of cobalt going if we want to you know, solidly enter the, uh, the power age. Okay, another house down. Let's see, uh, grab whatever we can and, and get home before dark if we can. All right, I think we're done the village proper. We are looking at the buildings on the outskirts. What is that? Oh, log. Is that a log? No, just like a random piece of wood on the ground. All right, so just a few buildings left. Now, we're not looking for any blueprints, so we don't have to look super careful. But with any luck, we can get away some good resources before we're done here. Now, it's... Uh, what time is it? 5.54, so it's going to start getting dark soon-ish. So let's just not uh, take too much time finding something useful here. All right, two buildings down. Um, again, some basic resources, you know, fish oil and seeds and all that. Ooh, that's a big building. I think this is the last one. Oh, I see ya. Ow. Oh, you jerk. That's two arrows you made me waste. Not happy about that. Uh, medicated bandages, you got us twice. What a jerk. Oh, did I get the arrow? No, there it is. Okay. All right, last house, see what we got here. Some empty cans, I don't mind that. Some more uh, preserves we can make. Uh, nothing here. Some potato sprouts. Medical advantages, yet yeah, we used a few, so I don't mind replenishing our reserves. You know, I don't think I've ever made a bandage. I usually find so much of them and I don't get hurt all that much that I usually have a steady supply of looted bandages. Like I've never, I've made tallow, that which you need for bandages, but I've never used tallow. I just kind of use it to get rid of the fat. Is that it? Um, yeah, I think that's it. I got my blueprints. Looks like I got all the houses. All right, let's make a mad dash for home and uh, you know sort through our goodies. Now, as we're making through, we're stopping at this uh, mining site. I kind of forget what this place is. It's probably cobalt. I'm assuming. Yeah, that looks like cobalt. Yes. So, okay, we know what, we may as well just grab some while we're here, you know? I know we have a little bit at home, but if we're getting into some electronics, maybe we might just squeeze out enough to get something operational. All right, home sweet home. We return victorious. Got a lot of goods and uh, some great blueprints. So we're going to start looking into this whole power thing. I mean, I, I mean, I've only been recording. Well, I guess I got to have about 10 more minutes of recording. I might be able to accomplish something before the end of it. First, I had to get all the stuff sorted, so, you know, I just can't function otherwise. I need to get the stuff away where they're supposed to be. 
All right, so I guess this is a happy problem to have. I'm putting away some uh, aluminum and I don't have enough to fill this. So I need 15 planks. I don't know if, uh oh, of course we get a Bambi tack right now. All right, that should be it. Oh, he landed right inside my fence, very nice. Got my arrow back and I got an oil out of the deal. Very nice, very nice. All right, so I don't know if I'll get enough, pl yeah, I think I'll get enough planks. Now, I'd really like to find the uh, circular saw bench because that will not only cut things automatically so I don't have to keep feeding one by one, it'll give me twice as many planks for my trouble. So uh, I really need to get a hold of that one. So we'll have to do another adventure sometime in the future and try to get those other blueprints. Can I get more planks? Please and thank you. All right, sorting took us well into the evening. So now that we've done all that, all those crates are emptied out. Uh, we started crafting additional shelves because we started getting a big surplus of material, which is great for us because we're going to have to start taking a nice hard look at getting electricity, and that will eat up our reserves really fast. Now, with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Placeables power wind turbine. Now, let's see. Where is a good spot to set up a row of turbines? Maybe along here? Yeah, maybe along here. This, uh, this will give us some room. Right about there, maybe. So maybe like this, hard to actually see, like that. Uh, I'm gonna need a bunch. So maybe at least five to start with, because that will, yeah, that'll give us a mount. So, so um, iron, aluminum, lead, and cobalt. Ooh, okay, so let's see how much we, of this we can get done. So two rows of that. Uh, do we need some copper, some cobalt, and I think it said lead. We need more lead here and a bunch there. Pretty full, so I think we might have enough for one of them. Let's take a look. Here we go. Oh, we oh, it's iron. We needed not uh, not copper. My bad. So back here, drop off the copper. Really need to use up some of this copper. It's getting silly. Oh, what am I hearing? Oh, it's deer. Yeah, deer. Okay, we just a deer. Okay, so we have power now. That's good. Yeah, that's definitely going to be our screenshot. Okay, so now that we have power, there's something else we need to manage power. So placeables, power, control panel. Um, maybe over here, just for now. We can move it easily later on. So that is going to take uh, copper. Okay, we need some screws. I got that. Right over here. Got lots of that, in fact. Okay. I uh, need a few copper. I think we need some iron, aluminum. I don't know. I didn't really look at it. Oh, just need one more cobalt. Not a big deal. Grab that. Slam in here. Okay, so this is our central place for power. Okay, they, they actually, this is part of the update. They reorganize this. It makes it a lot easier to read. So power info, power in from a wind turbine, we got 20. Power out, it's in red because we're not, we're, it's not active, is a refrigerator. So if we could power the refrigerator, that would really help us avoid this, you know, spoiling a food problem. So getting some more of those turbines would be great. If we can get, oh, we would need three more turbines active in order for that to be functional. And I don't think we're gonna get that anytime soon. So we may have to actually start looking at crafting another um, extractor and get more aluminum because that really ate through our aluminum. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more fiddling around and let's get to sleep and start the day. All right, good morning. It's the first thing in the morning. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get another uh, wind turbine operational. I think we have enough for one more. Oh boy. Let's get a Vambi and a bear. This is one of those mornings. That's right, I'm over here, fella. Leave my wall alone. You want some too? Because I'll give you some. All right. Ended that fight nice and quick. All right, let's get the bear out of the way. Oh, do we not have room for a bone? Ooh, wow, look at our inventory. Let's go ahead and empty this out into the, uh, this other turbine. Yes, we had another one operational. Ooh, we need uh, so much aluminum. That is just so much aluminum. Um, just make yourself at home? Nope. No freebies here, fella. You're meat. Okay, let's check the Vambi over here. Get our arrow back and whatever he has for us. And yeah, it's biofuel. Cool. All right, well, uh, this is it for me. Uh, the day's starting, but I, I'm i done. I, I need to get more aluminum, 
And that's going to be a lot of more decking around. I want to move one of these guys. Let's empty this out. Actually, let's shut this off. And uh, we're going to move this to our, our aluminum. I mean, we may as well shut this off too. Because we have plenty of copper. And I'll move this to the cobalt site. And then we'll start making more of them. Oh god, I'm slow. Anyways, with that in mind, this has been episode 10 of The Infected. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. If you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you have not already. Alright, thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time for episode 11.